Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with the former worst gun in the game, both Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, the Carrick 300. I didn't like using this gun. I got frustrated with it, and I usually got gacked with it. I bought the farm so many times that Carrick owes me some seeds or something to plant. In Season 4, the Carrick came out with some changes, and a Carrick is a four-masted old ship from the 14th, 15th century, and this gun is about like a sail ship that goes slow and is old. But let's see what they said in the patch notes. Increase maximum damage range from, or maximum damage, let's see what they say in the patch notes. Increase maximum damage from 95 to 128. That is awesome. Increased near medium damage from 90 to 95. That's good. Increased medium damage from 70 to 90. Good. Now, decrease maximum damage range from 30.7 to 12.7 meters. It's a sniper rifle that the maximum damage range is 12.7 meters. If they just would have stopped with the increasing the damage, you'd still have a second-rate sniper. Now, I don't know. Decrease minimum damage from 58.1 to 30.7. Decrease medium damage from range from 69.6 to 58.1. We're not going to notice that. Increased head and neck damage multiplier from 1.7 to 2.2. That's pretty good. Increase lower torso damage multiplier from one time, in other words, nothing, to 1.1. So let's take a look at the numbers pre-patch and post-patch. First for damage. Patch notes are kind of a lot of gobbledygook. And let's see what the numbers say. So on the left is the old Carrick. On the right, the new Carrick. Headshot damage was 161. It's 281 now. That's awesome. Upper torso damage was 114, in other words, a two-shot kill. Now it's 153, a potential one-shot kill. Lower torso damage went from 95 and upper legs to 140 and 128. So now if the enemy is wounded at all, you hit them anywhere within the maximum damage range or the effective damage range, and you're going to likely get a GAC out of that. And let's take a look at the ranges because that's where the word decrease started. Before, on the left, it was 32.3 meters for the effective damage range. Now, 13.3 meters for a sniper rifle. The minimum damage range has gone from 61.1 from a previous 73.1, which is okay. I mean, I'm not going to notice it. Bullet velocity hasn't changed, and rate of fire has not changed. So let's take a look at the configuration. We're going to give it another try. First, the int last 13. And with that, I aim to get better ADS and ADS movement speed and sprint to fire speed. Those were my aims. We get better ADS movement by 12% and 1.8 meters per second as a composite. And the ADS speed is an okay at 463 milliseconds. And that's as good as it's going to get. The Lex V14 stock helps with mobility. If you want to sniff your feet, you can now do it at 2.4 meters per second. And the sprint speed's pretty good at 5.8 meters per second. AD, that helps with the ADS speed. And the recoil control, which is almost non-existent, is affected, as is the max hip fire spread. If you're hip firing with a Carrick, the war's not going well for you. TV not grip, and all that did was adjust the recoil. 10 round mag, I decided since it's a multiple fire weapon, I needed more than the typical five rounds and it very minimally affects mobility and handling and finally the sonic suppressor l it reaches out a little further with that effective damage range that's how we got 13.3 over the 12 meters that they advertise and it helps with the bullet velocity all right let's take this carrick into the shooting range and see if we can verify any of these numbers all right, let's verify the headshots first. There's at 50 meters, 25 meters, and 10 meters. One shot kill to the head, but then it was before. Now we're going to try the upper torso. At 10 meters, it should be a one shot kill. Not at 50. Come on. There. Hit marker, and then there's the kill. We expect that. Hit marker kill 
And this should be a one-shot kill. We're going to shoot high, and it was not. That could be problematic. Whether the numbers are right or wrong, let's find out. We'll take the Carrick 300, the newly buffed, nerfed Carrick 300, onto the field of honor and see how it did for Grandpa and what it did to Grandpa's friendly enemies. Let's see if the Carrick has been turned into a racehorse or it's still a donkey. And let's see if we can prove whether the one-shot area extends to the upper torso. So I, I like to use snipers like almost any other weapon. I don't change my style much. Although right there I'm kind of chilling near the flag till I get gacked. So I like to rush with a sniper and my favorite rushing sniper is actually the XRK Stalker. But if you go back to one of my older videos, the most effective sniper just may be the inhibitor now, especially with the Jack Folk kit. There was an accidental hip shot, believe it or not. The, the Carrick 300 acts almost like any other sniper that I rush with. There's a miss. Well, that person was jumping. In that, I usually hit pretty high. Now there, that looked like that was within 13 meters. And that was in the upper torso. And it wasn't a one-shot kill. And I don't think I was shooting through cover. That was a pretty clear shot. One other thing that I wish they would do with... I don't think that was a headshot. But it's really hard, and that definitely wasn't a headshot, but I think that person already had damage. It's, it's hard to tell in 6v6 whether somebody already has damage or not. That wasn't an upper head shot, uh, an upper head. That wasn't a Gorgak. That was upper torso. So maybe the upper torso statistic is the truth, unlike what it shows in the shooting range. That, one, that guy already had damage. The ADS is not spectacular. It's not bad. It's less than 500 milliseconds. So that puts it in the middle of the quicker ones. Now that was an upper, or it was a torso anyway. There was upper torso. I don't know if that was within 13 meters, though. 13.3. We got white, or I'm sorry, we have the blue nun on their team and the pink nun on ours. Uh, that was a headshot. So I'm trying to figure out what purpose the Carrick plays in the game. And I think the weapon developers were trying to do the same thing when they changed out the stats on it. I don't understand nerfing the distance of a sniper down to 13 meters. That was a good final kill. Made Grandpa famous. Somebody's trying to gag me with a Granado. I think that was a headshot. This will give us, uh, should give us a few more shots at, ooh, <laughs> shots at distance. So I I think the weapon developers, well, actually, the, the inhibitor is what the Carrick was intended in Modern Warfare 2. It's a lessons learned with the Carrick, in my opinion. And once they had the inhibitor, they didn't know what to do with the Carrick. So they thought they would make this a short-range sniper. Well, <laughs> if they were going to do that, then they probably should have given it maybe like a 400 ADS. A 425, a really fast aim down sight speed. Because it's up, oh, that was definitely in the upper torso, and so was that. The guy's after me. That, that guy was probably already damaged. Oh, that was upper torso, but I think he was damaged. 
So it's hard to tell. Uh, let's just say that I'm going to believe them that an upper torso shot is going to be a one-shot kill, which really makes this weapon a lot more usable. But with the 8AS not matching the okay sprint to fire and the decent mobility numbers, I just don't know where the sniper sits in the lexicon of snipers in Modern Warfare 2 and 3. Ooh, there was a miss. Let's see if that person's still there. Yeah, somebody else is there. Oh, got a puppy dog. Don't call the ASPCA on me. That was a headshot. So I do like that you have multiple shots. In case you miss one or you get a hit marker. If this truly is a, let's just say, 13 meter one shot kill to the upper torso, then you got some power there. But the question is why carry that instead of the inhibitor that has similar performance, similar ADS, but packs a much heavier punch, especially. Yeah. Uh, uh, that life wasn't going well for me. A yeah, headshot, especially now that you have that Jack Folk kit, you can double tap and actually pull the bullet, the second bullet, onto the target. Take a look at the video and you'll see me doing that to where I'm strafing with the inhibitor with the Jack Folk kit on it. Sometimes you have to say I love you with a Renetti. Make sure if you step on a mine, you prone out. And try not to get the back of a gun in the back of your head, a gun butt. No, nope, that was upper torso. Took two shots. That's upper torso. Took two shots. So I don't know. I don't think I've proven anything yet. Because it's so difficult to tell somebody already, already has damage. So my opinion... It's going to stay in the box. I am probably not going to use the sniper because I see no place for it in the game. There are other snipers that do the same thing and are much better. That's my evaluation. It's better, but not great. Please like and subscribe. Cheers and peace.